the, the Constitution says we the people, the land of the free and justice for all. Now, I'm not quoting every part of it, but I'm giving you those pieces. What does that mean to you? Do you feel that when the Constitution says we the people, that it is inclusive and it does include everyone? You know, when you think about the guys who wrote it, um, mad respect, mad respect, but also I don't believe that they really believed that, you know, for everybody um, just because of their practice of being slaveholders themselves. But um, uh, I think when I... I do think that we have it and it's there and I think now we've gotten to a place in America where there are just that many more people who do believe that um, and who do want that to be true. I think that um, what I've seen in particular from my very whitewashed um, social media is that just at this point I think, think this, this wave is so different from what I've seen in the past. I just see more of my people um, on social media just speaking out way more than they ever have more people um, asking questions more people pressing in more people leaning in more people keeping their mouths shut when they should more people asking questions when they should um, not that they're doing it in a very like it's just all very raw and real for people and I think I'm just seeing it different and I see a stirring in a very different way um, just from who I see on social media and like who I'm talking to um, so I think that even in the Constitution, even though maybe it's in, originally it wasn't intended for actual all, um, and because I think their definition of all men was very different than what us, at least here, define it as. Um, and so, but I do think it is moving that way. Um, there's a, an image um, that's kind of circulating, and it's like a tree. Um, and it depicts what inequality is versus equality versus equity versus justice. And in all of those, the tree is bent over. And in every part of the inequality, the equality, the equity, there are things happening with the two children trying to get the apples off the bent over tree. But when you get to justice, the tree is actually fixed. The structure of the tree is fixed instead of just fixing what's going on with um, the two children trying to get to the apples so that both kids have every piece of it um, fixed for um, of the structure fixed and so um, I think it's something like I said I think more people are aware of it I think this time is different and I think um, more people are believing that there is justice for all we're not there yet obviously and I don't think our founding fathers thought that but I think this is different okay. yeah thank you I appreciate you sharing stay shout yeah. out so I was actually going back to um, one of the classes that I had the opportunity to take here at the College of Worcester um, called Racism 101. And one of the priorities of the class was actually looking at all the legal documents and laws that were in that explicitly stated um, where black people stood in the United States. Mm -hmm. And so when the Constitution was written, you know, Black people were considered three-fifths of a person at that time. And so it's obvious that they weren't really included as the people because they weren't considered people. And the portion of a person they were considered was simply for, you know, voting rights to say, we have like this amount of people in our population, so we have more of a say. Um, but I do think that in today, we are now able to use those documents to say, well, now we are considered people, so we should be having um, full access to what was written. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Stacia. I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to give Obani an opportunity if you want to share. Yeah, you know me and my legal background. I had to share it. Actually, Stacia already, she took it away. I said by saying that the document was... It was inclusive for who was considered a person and human being at that point in time. The beautiful thing I think about America, and honestly, I think that this is maybe a part of God's faithfulness, is because of the way that we write stuff and the way that we kind of have to write it, it provides an opportunity to include people that maybe it never was supposed to include in the first place. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is, it's there, and we abide by it. So, do you know, as the Constitution stands right now, we can use it. And so it's not necessarily a document where I said we just need to chuck it because of the way that it was written. Even if they didn't intend for it to be for black people, 
we can still use that to our advantage now, similar mm -hmm. to what Seychelles said, because we are people. Yeah. Because you went and you took your own definition of what human being meant and applied it to people doesn't mean that we're actually any less human being. Right. All right. Thank you, Ivani. I appreciate that. Uh, Dr. Kim? Okay. Um, yeah. So, um, let's see. My opinion on this. Well, I feel that um, basically the document was formulated to appease the individuals of the time and mm -hmm. that particular population. And within that particular community was those to be expected to be represented within that. Um, I take it a little further, um, even to, to, to today in our society with mm -hmm. regard to um, Christianity and in the church, mm -hmm. I just have to really go there, mm -hmm. is that um, oftentimes I feel that it is, the rules are specifically entailed for that particular community and that particular majority. Um, I believe that there are such missed opportunities for um, the realities of um, what we really deem you know, humans and humanity as. Um, I am of the mindset that the documentation and constitution within the United States um, is exactly, um, you know, uh, a, a great document in theory. Mm -hmm. However, um, it does not represent the realities that you know, really exist for humanities. Um, I, I, you know, really, to be quite honest, I'm still um, at the, you know, and God bless America, you know, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, what about God bless other people? What about God bless the nation? So, you know, mm -hmm. I, um, you know, living out of the country for, um, you know, over a decade, um, I've been able to see and embrace some other realities that do exist. So um, I might have a different opinion. Um, I like my opinion. I believe that it is rooted in knowledge. It's rooted in my spirituality, my commitment to the Lord. Um, uh, I am um, an American citizen. I do respect my citizenship here. Um, however, there are such mixed messages, and that is where the problem lies, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dr. Kim. I, I definitely appreciate your feedback as well. Constance. Um, for me, you know, for reasons that everyone um, that has spoken um, has stated, uh, specifically that it wasn't intended for black people at the time that it was written. Um, uh, uh, actually, because I've been doing a lot of reading, it, a lot of things are coming like full fold for me. Um, just how, you know, it's, it's like it's highlighted um, in our lives, just the disparities that black people go through. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just like reading it and, and, and understanding systemically how in every um, avenue of housing, mm -hmm. in, in every way to create wealth and become full citizens, um, especially during the times now when you consider that, you know, the United States is, is capitalist. We, we are operating in a capitalist society. So for black people to not um, <clears throat> be included in everything that uh, helps you build wealth, um, the, 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 the Constitution, do not um, definitely uh, give us access to um, full citizenship. Um, and um, one of the things that I wanted to um, highlight, <clears throat> Dr. King um, highlighted in one of the books, it um, real quick, it just says, uh, all too few people realize how slavery and racial segregation have scarred the souls and wounded the spirit of black men. The whole dirty business of slavery was based on the premises that the Negro was a thing to be used, not a person to be respected. Mm -hmm. um, and that just rings just so true to me mm -hmm. and my everyday living experience. 
Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, for those who are out, for the others that have joined us, if you have anything that you would like to share, please feel free to uh, put it in the chat room. I will do my best to uh, check in the chat every now and again and, and share those comments as well. So um, thank you so very much. I appreciate that.